everyone, I'm Jen Dawson and I am here with my gorgeous friend Oriana with Quixotic Flowers. Hi everyone, so happy to be here. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me, Jen. This is great. Of course. I'm so excited to have you. It is springtime officially as of yesterday, and so I thought how perfect and to have you come on and talk about some floral ideas for the home. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Flowers are such a great way of just bringing color into your home, freshness, vibrancy, and honestly not spending a lot to really make a room pop. Right, you have done some amazing arrangements for me. Thank you. Like my Easter wreath. So but much fun. Jen lets me be creative, which I love, and it's just great. So how did you get into all of this? Gosh, my mom was really into interior design, Evan. When I was a teenager, my neighbor actually started a floral design business, and I was really close with uh, her. So I just started working with her, mm -hmm. and I loved it. I love putting flowers together and the colors and working on weddings. And yeah. and I went to floral school when I was 18. I moved up oh to Portland. Gosh, I, I didn't know that. And went to the Floral Design nice. Institute up there. And how long were you up there? I was up there for a year. Okay. So um, it was great. Got mm -hmm. all my certifications up there, and then I came back, and I just started working for local floral shops. I worked at one in Paso, one in San Luis. And then I decided to open my own business. It's so great. So I've done now over. You're at Dow too. Now I'm at Dow, so yeah. I'm the floral designer up at Dow. And then I do weddings during the year as well. I've been private yeah. florals for friends and family as well, and other clients. And that's so amazing. It's just such a great way. Again, it's just a great love language, mm -hmm. a great gift. Yeah. It's just for people to give themselves or to give to others and. Yeah, so look beautiful in pictures and exactly so how do you start well I definitely tell people start with the basics of where you're gonna get the flowers mm -hmm. um, and these days flowers are so accessible no matter if it's at your local grocery store farmers markets even in our town here in Paso Robles there's farmers markets multiple times a week yeah. so it's so easy to pick up fresh flowers here, especially come spring. In winter, you're not gonna find as much. You're gonna mm -hmm. have to more go to the grocery stores. Yeah. But in spring, I would definitely say farmer's market first. Okay. Grocery That's store second. Now. Trader Joe's always has such a great display of fresh flowers. So if you have a local Trader Joe's near you, okay. such a great spot and really, really reasonable too, which yes. is amazing. How do you come up with your amazing Ideas. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot of times yeah. say your wreaths, yeah. centerpieces. So much fun. So either have an idea in your mind already. Pinterest is a huge inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. Go on there, get ideas. That's where I get a lot of my wreath ideas, color ideas. You can type in almost anything in there from fresh flowers, dried flowers, mm -hmm. to get beautiful pictures and beautiful ideas. Or sometimes I'll just let the flower speak to me, which is yeah. awesome too. I'll go inside Trader Joe's. What's fresh? What's vibrant? What's beautiful? What can I bring into yeah. my home? A lot of times when I'm working with fresh flowers, I'll go to the market. Little, a little professional tip with that too. A lot of times the flowers are right in the front of the okay. store. Pick them up last. Even though a lot oh, of people, I'll idea. see them, put them in their cart first, but then they're sitting out of water for a long time right. as you're shopping and around mm -hmm. the store. And even at Trader Joe's, a lot of times they'll let you take the little buckets home too. Okay. So either have a little bucket from home with you or take one of their buckets so the flowers don't have to be out of water that long. Because the longer flowers are out of water, quicker they'll die, and they just won't last as long. Maybe that's been my problem. <laughs> that's my little pro tip for the day. Keep the flowers in water. <laughs> what would you say are some of your favorite things that you do in your home for spring as far as decor goes? Oh my gosh, it's so much fun to get creative, yeah. especially if you have old pieces like old teapots, teacups. Mm -hmm. I love using really unique pieces as my vessels. Again, yeah, vintage glassware. Even Jen and I love to go to Madonna, and they have these beautiful goblet cups. What about doing an oh, arrangement in there? Idea. So pretty. And if a oh, container so is more wide, mm -hmm. more like a wide mouth, go to Michael's, get your oh, wet foam, okay. your wet floral foam, mm -hmm. not just regular dry styrofoam. It'll literally say wet foam on there. Okay. You'll soak that. And then you can just insert the stems and build out on that. And it's that. so pretty. And a lot of times you can use greens from your yard, from your neighbor's yard if you ask <laughs> them. 
little road side of And you can just build really pretty things. I've even done small yeah. arrangements like out of seashells even and oh, in like my that. bathroom. Yeah. And, We're always um, on the coast and would love something like that. Yeah, you can reuse a wine bottle, which is like a couple long stem roses and some grasses coming That's out great. of it. So look around your house first okay. and see what you have. And then going to Michael's, going to Hobby Lobby, any of the great craft stores are going to have amazing vases, pots, some great ideas. And then if you want to build from there or, and do a wreath or do like a beautiful bird's nest for spring, how great would that be yes. just to get a nest and that. maybe do like a mixture of like a few fresh flowers, some dried flowers. There's a lot of even like getting like eucalyptus at Trader Joe's or other things just to tuck in there that'll last a while, honestly. See, I love that. I don't even think about looking for eucalyptus at Trader Joe's just for a floral. Oh, absolutely. You know? And it smells so good too. I mean, just pull back on the leaves a little bit, it'll ignite that smell yeah. even more and just bring that kind of essential oil aromatherapy yeah. into your house too, which I is another that. bonus. Yes, it's so all natural. Yes. Find a, find a great local spot for your flat, fresh flowers mm -hmm. or dried flowers okay. to buy. And then look for containers, either at your local craft store, hobby store. And then, funny enough, I found some great cubes at the dollar store the other day. Okay. Those would be great springtime gifts even to give to your yeah. friends or for Mother's Day Mother's coming Day, up, Easter great. gifts. You can just Mother's Day last year, what you made for oh, me, that was so adorable. Those mason are just jars. really fun. Yeah, mason jars are really fun fun pots. Don't yeah. count out pots. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do a potted plant. Okay. You can do fresh florals. Either yeah. just cut the stems, put them in. Then a lot of times, too, you can get those little packets of crystal light. If you don't have a packet of the fresh floral food, just use an aspirin in there. Oh, really? And the greatest tip, too, that I can tell people is strip the leaf all the way down of all the leaves. Because if you... Put your flower in water okay. and the leaves are down in the water, those decompose. Oh, and that's what gotcha. causes the water to turn colors and the flowers to die a lot quicker. Okay. So before you arrange, strip all of the leaves off, give it a fresh cut straight in the water. Wow. And that Great should tip. last as long as possible. And if you're using clear water, mm -hmm. replace it every like three to four days, I would say. Okay. And I try to do that, but I feel like all the stuff you make me is so fresh oh, and it lasts you. a long time. Thank you. I thank you. It. And even up at the winery too, for fresh flowers, yeah. I do for them. If you can't get to change the water out mm -hmm. as much as you'd like, tie a big bow around it. I even did That's, like a burlap wrap okay. around it. So then you won't see the water. Right. If the water does get a little bit dirty or a little bit mm -hmm. old, a big bow or burlap, That's that'll take care of that idea. problem. <laughs> Yeah, flowers are just such a fun, bright way just to get color into your home. You could like literally spend 30 bucks at Farmer's Market yeah. or Trader Joe's or get a hold of one of your local florist friends to see if you can buy some in bulk flowers from them. Oh, that's a good idea. And then you can make gifts. You can make beautiful mm -hmm. arrangements for your home and even just putting flowers in a bathroom. I just feel like it brightens up the whole space. It really does. And Oriana made me this gorgeous Easter wreath and it's... So I have an inside joke. I can't have wreaths on my door because remember the bird oh. tried to lay a day. Well, it did lay a day <laughs> in the wreath. So she made me a really pretty wreath, and we're using it as our centerpiece on our table, and it just brightens up our kitchen. Well, and, the and I love it. Thank you so much. And the great thing about a wreath, too, is that since we were putting that on the table, I kind of more decorated the outside of it. So when you're sitting, yeah. you can see it really well. And then with a the wreath, there's obviously a hole in the middle. Right. So then as the season changes, it goes from Easter to maybe you're doing more of a Mother's Day decor, then just more of summer. You can kind of pick and pick choose. And choose. Right. Pull some stuff out. Put some new some stuff, stuff in. in. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're featuring a bunny in the middle for Easter. And then mm -hmm. for another holiday or just for summer, you just put some sunflowers in the middle. And I love that. You can just change it out because then it won't break the bank as far as exactly. cost is concerned too because yeah. you're using what you have and just changing it out. And that wreath base will last you forever. It does. I mean, the one you made... It was fall. Yes. Two years yes. ago. We still have that. It's I in love our that. Garage and we've been, we put it back up. Oh. And, yeah. And that's great. And that's such a great thing, too, so about. Pretty. And it still smells good. I know. Isn't yeah, that fun? It's crazy. Having a nice base, using some silk, using some dried, maybe tucking in some fresh too, 
okay, well, the dried is going to last forever. The yeah. silk is going to last forever. And then you can just interchange the fresh. I love it's that. so perfect. And so for all of you out there, if you want to get in touch with you to have something made, what is the best way? Absolutely. To, to go to my website, quixoticflowers.com. Um, we'll put a little link in the comment section. And um, you can go there and see a little bit more of my work and hopefully get inspired. Well, do you have anything else that you would like to add that we haven't chatted about? Gosh, I feel like with any sort of art form, don't worry about doing it a certain right way or you have to be trained in it. Just have fun. Flowers are just such a great way just to bring art and color into your home and be creative. There's no right or wrong way. It's just having fun. Well, thank you so much for being <laughs> Thanks with for us having today. me. This is great. Yes, it's so much fun. I'm so excited to see all of your pretty creations for Oh my spring. gosh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you all for joining us today. We will see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, and P.S. Don't forget to watch our latest market update. Click the link below.